Hello, and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob, and I call myself Sansomi. And it's finally time. Finally, Football Manager 23 has gone out of beta. So we are going to start a new series here. <clears throat> and we have decided, or I have decided, to take control of Telford United. And um, it was a hard decision. Uh, I was considering a Premier League team to see all the Champions League and the UEFA League and stuff like that, but after all, one of the most um, interesting thing for me is, let's see, is this thing here to see if we can develop this side of the game, see what will happen. <clears throat> With the supporters, if we get more supporters uh, and stuff like that, if this is dynamic, so um, I'm going to do all I can to get this club as high as possible to see where, where what will happen on this side. Um, and so, yeah. And when it comes to the Champions League, I I wouldn't dare, not at the moment though, I wouldn't dare to, to play the music. Um, show the graphics for the Champions League and the Europa League and stuff like that. It's a cool added thing as well, but yeah, I couldn't uh, do the music since I would not want to get a strike or something on YouTube, so whatever. <clears throat> but looking at the, the club here, another reason I picked Telford is this reason training facility they have a three-star training facilities which means that hopefully when we get a bit higher up or if we get a bit higher up and hopefully we will if we can become a professional and we can train every day in the week that we have this training facilities this high already could really really help us out a lot and youth facilities are very good as well so yeah, that's another reason why I picked them. Uh, when it comes to money, it's a poor club. Um, it's going to be going to be struggling, that's for sure. Um, let's see. Let's go to the table and let's have a look at where do we have it? Preview. We are should be preview, shouldn't it? Or maybe it's not. Yeah, here it is. They expect us to end up in 11th position. That's, uh, I would be pleased with that for the first season, actually. So, yeah, sponsorship, we are, well, 18th. So we, we're not making much money, 14,000 a year, while Hereford makes 48. That was actually a club that I was considering because they had two stars there and they did have a lot more money. But I ended up picking Telford and um, I think I'm pleased with that decision, to be honest. We don't have a lot of players, but the ones we do have has a good, good lot of potential, at least in this star rating here. So... <clears throat> I'm hoping uh, they will have it um, in the real as well, so to speak, that they will reach. But this is all the players in the entire club. Um, so it's the under-21 and under... Or, or no, we don't have an under-21, do we? We only have an under-18. And as you see, nobody's added when I press that one. So nobody is in the under twenty. Uh, under 18 at the moment so this is um, the entire team as I said and it's going to be tough now Princewell is a player I signed which uh, is only 16 and I'm giving him a lot of playtime I'm gonna give him a lot of playtime that is but I'm gonna say Prince uh, and I can even say Prince will but I will not be able to pronounce that last name. I'm sorry if that offended somebody, but I just can't. There's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce that. I'm dyslectic, which uh, makes it even harder for me to pronounce. Um, 
hard words. I know I struggled for for many, many years to say phenomenon. Now, for many people, that's just an easy word. For me, it was phenomenon. So I, I'm not going to be training his name. And when I can, when I am able to pronounce it, uh, the series is over or he's gone retired or something like that. So whatever. Let's go into transfers and take a look at the players that I brought in. I have, of course, only brought in the free transfers. Down here, that's what I do. Or, or from the non-clubs. All of these players being picked from different clubs has, of course, been picked by the club in, before this season. So, Anthony Robinson is one of them. Only 15. A left midfielder. I just felt that I needed to get somebody there. So, yeah. Hopefully he will be good enough. The goalkeeper, I think that's that's going, that's going to be the goalkeeper that I'm going to put my aim on. Um, try to make him as good as possible. And he's going to be playing, as long as he's injury free, he's going to be the one that I pick out every week. It looks good. Um, I'm very pleased with him and looking at his stars. I think he's the right choice to take it here. And as I said, this 16 year old, I think he has a lot of potential. I don't think he's there yet, but uh, yeah, one of the, the, the things to get him to become better is of course to let him play. So he's going to be playing a lot as well. I mean, it's not all bad, two and a half stars, but he, as I said, loads of potential, at least for this team. So that's going to be interesting to see. And then I bought or signed Joe Ling, an 18 year old. And he looks quite good, um, especially on the star side of things. So I'm going to be using him uh, as well, of course. And we have Jack Lee, a defender, which I believe as well is in this in this star rating here at least he i think he's one of the best players in the club now if that is, that is not always 100 percent accurate as we all know so but uh, he's going to be a a regular in the first team as well and then i bought a or signed a right defender i really need to to try and sign a left defender as well because if we take a look at the squad planner here left we only have brad brood i can even see here shortlist senior club best suited we can bring in we don't we haven't signed him oh he's on he's on trial and i can't sign him because he's um yeah i'm gonna show you why i can't sign him and that is because he's from Uruguay. So he's not going to get a work permit. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's see information if he has. He's Italian as well. But since we are not in. Um, oh, look at this. Days to gain nationality. Days. Oh, he's nowhere near. So, yeah. There's no way we're going to be able to sign him since he's not allowed to play for us. He's not going to get a work permit. So, yeah. But you can put them in into this thing here. So that's interesting. But we're going to take him away because he's only on trial. But as you could see, I have no one to put in there. Best suited in... Yeah, well, we do have... Some under 18? Nah, that can't be true. We don't didn't have anybody in the under 18. Is that? Yeah, that's that's uh, those grey uh, players. So we only have one left defender, and that is of course extremely dangerous. If some if he gets injured or something, I mean, yeah, he's he's got potential to become a good player, and he is. How old is he? 18. So he's got lots of time to develop but yeah having one player is of course not good in the central defense we do have four players so i think i'm going to be satisfied with that even if one of them is a player that plays in this right 
position here. So yeah, in the right midfield, we have plenty of good players to, or plenty of players, I should say. So that's no problem, no problem here, no problem here, and no problem there. So strikers, we have kind of a, uh, an okay amount of player as well. So it's a left back that we really, really need to find to try and, um, yeah, get this team better. Let's see if there's anybody to loan. No players have been found. Free transfers. There are, and this one is only 19. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to try to sign him also on trial. Let's let's put him on the shortlist first, then trial. Four weeks. Let's go. He's only 19, and if we can get a good deal on him, um, as cheap as possible. Oh, that one, natural fitness, is very high on this one. Let's put him... Let's offer him some trial as well. Right. And let's hope we get that, uh, that one of them will be a good player. So that's what we have to work with. What else do we have to talk about here? Let's go into the club info again. As I said, quite good capacity on the... Arena, 6.3 thousand, and uh, I'm pleased with that. That could help us if we ever, if we ever get anywhere. Um, we have a, a base to get spectators to fill up. Um, not much more here. General yeah. news. Yeah. Facilities we can see here good corporate facilities good training facilities and give youth facilities which is <clears throat> Pretty nice Now we only have fairly basic academy coaching and fairly basic youth recruitment But I think that is what I'll aim for last if I'm still here after 10 15 seasons hopefully that will be maxed out as well um but it's going to take some time uh, and things have to go our way. So, uh, yeah. The club visions, they want me to work within the budget. I'm not in the budget, I must uh, admit to that. Grow the club's reputation. Of course, I want to do that. And in the current season, avoid relegation. I think I'm going to be able to do that. I, I, I feel that I have the team to be able to do that. Be competitive in the FA Cup. That's going to be hard. Um, and in the FA Trophy, that's going to be hard as well. And then next season, they want me to be established. I think I can do that. After that, they want top half, which is going to be tough. But I think we... And top half and top half. So we don't have immense, we don't have loads of pressure to do something. But on the other hand, we are already over budget. £500 a week over budget, which isn't good. Of course, I don't want to be there. Um, Finances not looking very good, 130 almost. And uh, as I said here, we have no debt, that's good. Sponsorship kit here, we do have some sponsors thing imaging, which is nice. Whoa, main kit is for 19 years and a total value of 30,000. Are you kidding me? Getting 1.6 thousand for 19 years. That's a crappy deal. Imagine 19 years I want to have this team in the Premier League. Am, am I only going to get 1.6 for that then? Holy smokes. Are there no clausules? Likely if we gain promotion, things will change and stuff like that. <clears throat> I'm certainly hoping there is. But oh well, oh well, well. 
So nothing here to speak of. Um, we could go back here to schedule. And look, I didn't arrange any of the friend list, but look what I ended up in the last game meeting. My Tuesday save, Welling's United, and we drew 1-1 against them. They took the lead, and uh, Prince will, Prince will uh, equalise. So, yeah. So it's going to be interesting, and I think we're going to be going to the first game already and see what we can do um so yeah i need to fill out these three players here i don't really know i think we want um i'm gonna go with kobe and with lewis baker and we want a striker i think i'm gonna go with nathan Nathan's going to get this opportunity today, anyway, to be on the bench. So this is the team for our very first. You can see Bl Brad Bl uh, Brad Boot is our weak spot, but that's because he plays in that complete wing back as I like to play. He's actually, if I play him as a full back, he's almost three stars, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, one and half maybe two and um, only one as a complete wing back so but I want him to be a complete wing back and um, yeah it is not going to be easy for him but uh, yeah let's do this so this is the team Marcel, Ashley, Matty, Jack, Brad, Byron, Joe, Liam, Devon, Jamie, Princewell and um, Let's get going. Maybe we should have. I have a positive mentality in the possession. It looks look. It's look. It looks like this, which I hope will be good in transition. We have the counter press and the counter, and distribute to playmaker, which is Yo Ling. Let's hopefully he will be a good and out of possession. I have it like this more often and uh, step up more. So, um, well, I don't think there's much more to say. Uh, I think we're going to go submit this and let's, let's hope for a good start of this season. And you all know it's the episode zero of, of um, season one. So, we're only going to be playing this one game. And the rest of it is, of course, talks about, uh, which we mostly have done before we started so won't be as it won't be much talk about after the game so but let's pump our fists let's get a wrestled here now let's move on Telford United and uh, yeah hopefully we can take a three three pointer here I would be happy about that but it's going to be tough I'm pretty sure so uh, yeah let's kick off shall we I'll skip that one as well. Away with the pointer, with the cursor. We don't want that to be in the way for you guys. And here we start off. And let's see. Surely seems to be given the first opportunity to store, score here. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, straight in the arms of Rusvis. But I think. I don't know if I have that. We're going to have replays on and we're going to have extended highlights. At least for this game, since this is the only game of the episode. Yeah, Tomlinson to Whitehouse. We are not the better team so far, that's for sure. We are struggling here, boys and girls. Um, I'm hoping we will become better. Here we might be having a chance. Come on. Telford and oh Ling Ooh. he killed that quite nice quite nicely but it went over unfortunately here's Prince Green and Bood come on get the ball in oh he lost the ball that's not good oh but good thing by Ling to put that up Nolan 
trying to find prints, but that's just a bow in nowhere's country there. That's a nowhere land. That's Lee. Oh, come on. Here comes Charlie. Oh, Lee breaking that one up. Good. Green comes. Come on, Green. Puts it to Prince. Prince. It gets too far out. Here comes Boot. And Boot shoots. And it's a scoring! Brad Boot! 1-0 for Telford. Oh, lay, lay, lay. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And as you all can see, it is the third team that I make a YouTube series of, and they've all been United teams. Now, Telford United has absolutely nothing to do with it being, uh oh, nothing to do with it being called United. I just looked at all the, the things and the stadium and, and uh, especially the training facilities, and that's what I made up my mind to choose this team. Uh, United had nothing to do with it. Pretty much um, the same thing with, with, with... Oh, here we come again. Pretty much the same thing when I started the Welling save because I, I've i played a lot of um, teams down in, those divi in these divisions, I should say. And uh, Welling has always been the one that they... That get the crap beaten out of them, so I just thought that that would be the worst team to start with. Or the, or let's see here, how green out. Uh, we get a corner out of that, and I just thought that that would be the most challenging uh, team to to play with, Welling United, since they always, when I play played down there, they always ended up at the bottom and, and did never get anywhere. So, um, yeah, that's why I, why I picked Welling. So that was also ooh, a random thing that they were called United. But uh, pretty cool since Manchester United is my favourite team. Um, another cool thing is that Welling was red as well. But these are black and white. And look at this. Jamie Allen makes it 2-0. Marvellous. I'm wondering, maybe the spectator sound is a little too loud. So maybe I should just bring that down a bit. And hope that it hasn't destroyed um, thingamajing so far. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh no, here they come. Samson and... Ooh, he shoots over. That's good. But look at this arena. Hardly any any spectators, which is a bit of a letdown. And I don't, I can't see that they haven't been able to find a skin such so good that they are able, so that I'm able to see the attendance, which is a bit of a letdown. But uh, I guess we're going to have to see about that later. Let's go into the dressing room now. Let's pump our fist and. Let's take control of this game and then start the second half. Here we go. 2-0 up. That's a good start. I'm pleased with that. Uh, a three-pointer is what we're after, of course. And, um, and it's always good to get as many goals as possible. But uh, as I said, it's the three points we're after. Um, to get anywhere, we need the points. Uh, oh, let's see. Nolan. Booed. And more here. Can he? No. And here they get to to Y. As you can see, I couldn't see anywhere with the spectators or attendants. Here's Brown. Brown hoisting it up, trying to read Prince, but he did not. Here they come again then. And they get a corner. No, they don't. Harper's there to save that one. Noland. Noland. Oh, that wasn't good, Noland. Nolan. Nolan is playing in the center and... Ooh, thank you for missing that one. Phew. I'm, I'm beginning to think that maybe I should take out Nolan. 
I don't know. It's a decision that can cost us a lot. I don't think we have a really good side outside of the first 11. I think we have some major problems. We do have Luz Baker, and I don't really know how good he is in that position, to be honest. So I'm not going to just switch it out here. If I'm going to change him, I'm going to go in in tactics and subs to make sure. Here they go. They get a red card. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Now we can try to get control over this game and not... I think I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to see how Lewis Baker would... Well, it's loads of stars that they are missing out if we do put him in. Okay. Cancel. Oh. And if we choose Kobe Jangwon? That's another... That's also a lot of... Now, nah, we're going to keep Nolan in then. I'm also thinking maybe I should give Blissett an opportunity and I wouldn't be as shameful to do that. Let's take, no one is very tired, so let's give Lewis Baker the opportunity as well. We are one player more than they are on the pitch, so let's hope that this will be something good for us. Hey, Alan Brown. Brown trying to reach Princewell. He did. And here Princewell is. He gets it to Green. Green. Can he get it in? He gets it into Nolan. Nolan. That's a poor shot. No power at all in that ball. So let's see what the new players can do. Or if they will give us problem. It could be problematic if they make us receive goals here they come good by brown more come on telford here's green green finding prince prince oh fires over there that wasn't very good sad to say but we played I i'm pleased I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with this result. I think we've done very good and started the league in a very good way. Three-pointer. Um, that's the most important thing, of course, as I said. There's nothing more important than three points. Here comes Prince. Can Prince shoot now, then? Now, the defender gets a leg in between. And it's a corner. There's only seconds left. Can we get this on goal? Come on. Come on. Now, that goalkeeper is out there picking up that ball. And it, uh, we end up winning 2-0. A good start to this series. I'm very, very pleased with that wrestle, to be honest. And uh, it's been looking good in training. So I, I'm not very surprised. I think I've done some, some quite all right... Uh, signings um, first of all especially Joe Ling I think he's been a really good signing for us and uh, Jack Lee is another one of those that I think is going to be very important for us and and hopefully two players that won't be injured or, or suspended a lot so hopefully that will be okay and of course we have Walker set to go on trial it's left defenders, and we want to try and find another left defender. So that's important. Um, and Princewell became the youngest player in history of National League North. So I don't really know how old he is, but I think he's only 15 and something. But I, um, when I say... I really don't know how old he is. I, I'm not going to be counting the days. He's 16, so he has be, become 16. And he's going to be 17 soon, aren't he? Ain't he? Yeah, 10th. It's only August, so he's going to become 17 pretty soon. So 
yeah, not that, um, but still being the youngest ever in National League history. That's good. Then Allen scores on Telford debut, the Jamie Allen. And the press conference, I'm going to send my assistant. National League North kicks off, yeah. And it kicks off with a winning for us, which I'm very, very pleased about. And uh, let's go one more like this to see the players coming into the team here now. You can see this one is two and a half star now and have the potential to be a five star. 19 year old uh, would be very interesting. Let's have a look at this. This one is half a star more. So I'm thinking maybe this is the player that I want to try. Yeah, he had natural fitness that was very, very, and high determination as well. That's two very, very nice things to have. So I think I'm going to try and sign him. And let's see. Let's have a little check. Let's see here. He has no, he has not got any. We want to give him. Let's see what he says about a youngster. Yeah, he accepts a youngster. Are you kidding me? Non-contract. I'm going to go for part-time here. We're going to give him 150. We want, of course, two years. And we're going to lock that down. And we're going to be removing these. Let's see if he is willing to sign this contract. He is. So now it's the the only question now is will we get him or will some other team be there to bring to steal him from us? And uh, I guess you'll find out that in the next episode. Um, I've also decided that this will be more like the Manchester United save than it will be like the the Welling save. What I mean about that is that I will cut out everything that's not of any big concern in between the games. So it will pretty much be just the games we play. And um, yeah, and I will talk around it and, and stuff like that. So that's my plan for this series anyway. So uh, let's hope that that will be a good... And let's hope that this will be a long and successful... Uh, series as well. I think I'm very very pleased with how far and how long we've held up the welling save um, I'm excited uh, if we can continue to climb um, It's going to be hard, but we do have we, we do have made we have made some some good deals and stuff like that in that welling save that we have which is on football manager 2021 now <clears throat> something that would be very very cool would actually be to be able to take your your saves let's say that i have my football manager 2021 the welling save and take that save and bring it in to football manager 2023 so that you get all the new stuff that's that's been given but you continue to play on your old save that would be whew, that would be cool so cool but i understand that that's not possible there's so many much uh information that they are not bringing with them so to speak to the new um, world order if we can say it like that but uh, it would have been really cool to to because then I wouldn't have to start a new series every time, uh, every year, so to speak. Um, I'm just hoping that we we don't have all three um, football manager saves up and running this time next year when Football Manager 24 came comes out. Um, then we're going to have some problem to find. But the time I'm, I'm going to have problems. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be very hard for me to find the time to record all these videos that that uh, i'm supposed to do now and then edit them and then upload them and um, i know that i do not uh, i don't find the time to 
be more involved in Facebook pages and stuff like that. I pretty much only have the time to put up the the video on on different si si sites, which I don't want to really. I mean, um, it's not that I don't want to put them up, but I want to find. I wish I could have more time to be more involved in the uh, on the pages as well, and not just place my videos um, because. Um, of course, uh, there is so much more to be able, but at the same time, I don't want them to just be dis, not be promoted at all. Um, yeah, so it's a dilemma. And of course, uh, I need to put as much effort as I can, especially now in the hard times with the financial situation that is happening. Uh, it's very important that I try to do as good as I can to keep my job. Um, so yeah, but I don't think I have much more to say about this. I, I, I think we're going to be, I hope we're going to have a long and pleasant journey with, with Telford. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you do like and subscribe and all that nice stuff. Um, especially subscribe. I would be really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah. And except for that, I hope you do stay safe out there, that you keep on having fun, despite all the, the tough times that are ahead of us. And uh, above all, stay safe. And I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.